Forwarding the Evolution of Sustainable Infrastructure. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 455. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. And One Community is bringing out people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And this is our December 12th, 2021 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is forwarding the evolution of sustainable infrastructure. And what we feel is the path to forwarding, to maximizing forwarding the evolution of sustainable infrastructure is open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And that includes all the physical foundations of sustainability and all the emotional foundations of sustainability and putting all this together to demonstrate a better way of living and open sourcing and free sharing it so that it can be replicated anywhere around the world. And so we talk about forwarding the evolution of sustainable infrastructure. There's a couple of key components to that. First of all, it's combining the physical foundations with the emotional foundations. And so the physical foundations of sustainable infrastructure, everybody knows about their food, energy, and housing. But we've also looked at it and said, well, what does a sustainable civilization look like? And we've identified the emotional foundations of sustainability. And we've, we're focusing on fulfilled living practices, what we call high-skid approaches to education, high-skid economics, and truer stewardship. And taking all these things and putting them together in a teacher demonstration hub designed to teach and demonstrate. You know, to teach and share and open source and free share all aspects of it, the food, the energy, the housing, the fulfilled living practices, the education model, open source education model, the highest good economic approach, as well as true stewardship, sharing and open sourcing all of that as tools, tutorials, and resources for and plans for replication and showing people exactly how you can replicate that. And not just how to replicate it, but we talk about open source project launch blueprinting. And what that means is, is that we're not just open sourcing and saying, hey, here's, here's all of our free information. It's not you know, copywritten or patented. Instead, we're taking it to the next level and we're saying, hey, here's all of our information and we're providing it in such a way that it can be used to as a project launch point, blueprints for launching other projects. Open sourcing it, not just so that you can use the information, but showing people how we got from point A, how we got from point A to point B to point C, and all the challenges that we made so that people can evolve the ideas and grow them into their own projects. And open sourcing and free sharing it. So if anybody looks at what we're doing and says, oh, I can do that better, or I don't like that, I'd like to do something different, great. That's the idea, you know, to take it from here to here and watch it evolve and grow and become something even better, something even more amazing. You know, and so forwarding the evolution of sustainable infrastructure for us is about creating the open source foundation, that platform of the physical, but it's also about adding to that the emotional aspects of sustainability and evolving sustainable infrastructure in such a way that it integrates that. You know, so we have a city center that is a collaborative space, a social space that provides, can produce and prepare food for, you know, 200 people at a time that can, can manage laundry for 500 people at a time. And it's designed to make all of those, those things more efficient by cooperating and collaborating on the production of food, on handling laundry for 500 people, instead of each individual group preparing their own food. And so from this perspective, then we can save resources, we can prepare better food, and we create a social environment as well surrounded around that. You know, and we offer that to the public as well as we share our environment as an ecotourism destination that anybody can participate in. And so the idea of forwarding the evolution of sustainable infrastructure is to take that physical sustainability, emotional sustainability, and put them together and build our infrastructure in such a way that it supports that. And to create an entire environment based on maximizing the living experience and sharing that living experience with other people. It doesn't have to be the way that we're living right now. You know, we can cooperate and collaborate and have a heck of a lot more free time to do the things that we want to do. And we can build environments that provide all of those things within walking distance. These environments already exist as Club Med and as cruise ships. 
You know, but in those cases, somebody owns that environment and there's a whole bunch of employees staffing it. They don't have any real say in what the environment is. In our case, we're creating an environment where the people that run the environment live there. And so it's an ecotourism, eco-sustainability, bed and breakfast that isn't just a place to stay, but a complete immersive environment where we're building our own homes, where we're growing our own food, you know, where we're building our own energy infrastructure, we're living completely off grid, where we're growing our own food without any herbicides, pesticides, or uh, fungicides. We're not spraying our, <laughs> spraying our food with poison, and it's super fresh because we picked it today. We have the ability to create these environments, and not just for the evolution of sustainable infrastructure, but to make sustainable infrastructure mainstream and to create a sustainable civilization within our lifetime. To spread this idea such that we reach that critical mass, that tipping point, where it becomes the new norm. To take us from where we are now to, this, to the world that we know is possible. And so we're creating a step-by-step -step series of plans to do that. You know, teaching people exactly how much it's going to cost, exactly how long it's going to take, all the problems that we ran into and how to solve those problems. And then as other people around the world start replicating what it is that we're doing, to work in cooperation, collaboration with them, to open source and free share their solutions, modifications, adaptations, iterations of what it is that we're starting with, to evolve the sustainable infrastructure by creating a template that's easy to replicate and let human ingenuity and creativity do the rest. You know, and so if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough and demonstrate as attractive enough, enough then this idea will spread on its own and so this is this is what we want to do and once the idea becomes self-replicating we've we've laid the foundation for forwarding the evolution of sustainable infrastructure indefinitely because we've created the sustainable and open source plans that people need and the more it becomes adopted the more it becomes implemented the easier it becomes and then you can say oh well now there's 50 counties that are already doing this and accepted this and that's how we want to make a lot of this sustainable construction that right now is very challenging make it mainstream and easy by demonstrating it all over the world and getting it to become accepted into the code you know and so yeah this is what we're up to so with that said you know we're 100 percent volunteer organization including myself uh, we are a nonprofit organization. We're a non-governmental organization, and we're creating this because we want to live this way, you know. And so we've designed seven different sustainable villages. We're starting with the Earthbag Village and the city centers, the first structures that we'll build. We're finishing up the plans on those, and we'll construct these, and then invite people to participate. Participate as volunteers because we'll continue to be all volunteers to come and live on the property and participate as as visitors that might want to just come and see or, or share in what it is that we're doing for a couple days or just come and watch and look at what it is, opening our doors to the public to come and see it and saying, hey, everything that you see, everything, every single thing that you see is open source and free shared. If you want to replicate this in your life as a complete village or even as just an individual component, we are offering that to you because this is what we're all about. And so our goal is to provide something for everybody, not just people that want to create complete eco-villages, but for anybody that wants to add some little bit of sustainability into their life. We're open sourcing and free sharing everything so that we can do that. So this is what we're up to. Stick around for a couple more minutes. If you'd like to see bullet points and all the major components of our project, uh, visit our blog with the same name as this video. If you'd like to see the specifics of what our all-volunteer team has accomplished in the last week, and visit our website if you'd like to see all the open source tools, tutorials, resources, hundreds of pages of content that our, our 600 plus volunteer team has uh, created to date as we continue to open source and free share our entire design process and all the different steps that we're taking to be ready to build and create one community as a place that you can visit and experience yourself. So that said, thanks for watching to the end. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, 
part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.